Okay, so for this problem, we're going to go through and find the matrix exponential for a 3x3 three three matrix. And we're going to use the Putzer algorithm again because that's kind of a quicker, more efficient way of doing so. So the first step of this method is to make sure you understand that we need to get three matrices and three different functions. And just to kind of recap those, we need to get the P's. The P0 is the identity matrix. The P1 is A minus lambda 1i. And then P2 is A minus lambda 1i times A minus lambda 2i. And sometimes that's the same matrix times itself, or sometimes it's different depending on the values of lambda 1 and lambda 2. We also need to find the R's. The R1 of t satisfies the first differential equation here in yellow. The R2 satisfies the second equation, and R3 the third. And it's always a really good idea to find the P matrices first because... If you ever get lucky and have one of them equal to zero, it can save you some work in finding the R's because the R's are never going to be equal to zero. All right, so to solve this problem, let's go through first and find our eigenvalues. And as always, we go in and we look at taking the determinant of A minus lambda I and setting it equal to zero and solving for the eigenvalues lambda. So in this case, we've got negative one minus lambda, zero, zero. Negative 1, 1 minus lambda, negative 1, negative 2, 4, and negative 3 minus lambda. And again, this determinant is going to be equal to 0. So because it's 3 by 3, it's a good idea to use cofactor expansion. And we will take the top row because it contains two zeros, which will help speed up our work. So when we do this cofactor expansion, we'll have that negative 1 minus lambda times the two by two determinant you get down here, which is going to be one minus lambda, four, negative one, and negative three minus lambda. And the other two entries are both gonna be zero because we have zero as our coefficient in front of our subdeterminants. Now let's go through and actually simplify this down. We've got negative one minus lambda, and then if we take the two by two determinant, that's 1 minus lambda times negative 3 minus lambda plus a 4 is equal to 0. If we now multiply out inside, we have a negative 3 minus lambda plus 3 lambda plus lambda squared plus 4. And then that's negative 1 minus lambda. Inside the square brackets, we've got lambda squared. And then we're going to have plus 2 lambda plus 1 equals 0. And this factors as lambda plus 1 to the third power equals 0 with a negative sign in front. So lambda 1 and lambda 2 and lambda 3 are all equal to negative 1.